Everybody's like, oh, you're going to the Korongal? Oh, and they feel sorry for you. Deadliest place on earth, the Korongal Valley. We picked second platoon because they were pushed the furthest out down the valley into enemy territory. The army puts the best units in the worst places and that pretty much guaranteed that we were going to be with an amazing unit. When the boys built that base, Taliban or the AAF forces in the valley, they were completely in shock. It was like a middle finger sticking out. And they realized once they could not knock off OP or Strepo, we had the upper hand. They started becoming afraid. Get some, Taliban! Combat and, uh, you know, it's fairly abstract in certain ways. You can't see bullets. And, uh, you know, so, but having the camera, you kind of know what you're doing. And so you just kind of focus on the actual filming. And, and, uh, and that kind of takes most of your energy. And the times when you are absolutely terrified in combat is when you don't have a camera with you, when you're somehow separated from it. And the reality of the situation kind of hits home. Um, but, you know, I have to say that, you know, Sebastian and I have been war reporters for over 10 years. You know, Strepo is a distillation of what we've come to understand about young men in war. And yet, some really the fighting after a while wasn't the most interesting thing. The most interesting thing was the kind of the relationship between the soldiers and our relationship with the soldiers, which became a very profound experience. What we did to mark the anniversary of our dead, we shot off flares. And where Restrepo died, we shot off flares. As, as it comes down and shadows and better, I can get a better. You know, and kind of raise one up. Say a prayer, say a few words in your head, and you move on. Yeah, objectivity is a really tricky concept. I don't think it's achievable, um, really. And and I think the strength of the movie is that we were not trying to evaluate the the the, the overall war. For that, I think you would need to really strive for objectivity. Plenty of other great filmmakers, great journalists have done that very well. Our, um, our intent was to bond as closely as possible with these men in order to understand and even experience their emotional reality. So in, in a strange way, we, were, we, were, uh, we had the opposite goal. Hey, babe, I miss you. It takes a little bit out of you every time you see one of your boys get hurt. It's really like a big family. I want you guys to mourn, and then I want you guys to get over it and do your jobs. Two months and counting down. Any political conversation has to include the fact that um, as bad as things seem there right now, it's the lowest level of violence in 30 years in Afghanistan. Um, during NATO's um, uh, experience in Afghanistan in the past nine years, 16,000 uh, Afghan civilians have been killed. It seems like a huge number until you compare it to the, previous, the nine years previous to that, 400,000 were killed during the chaos of the 90s. So any conversation about the politics of this war really has to include that math.